Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. And back we come again. The item described tonight, while hard to find, and harder still to acquire, is but one of two and a half thousand such items, each of which carries both power and a curse. Items so terrible that they've become whispered legend among the broken and the lost, as are those who seek them and those who hold them. Collectively, they're chronicled in the Holders series, and this is number 53, The Anvil. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or hospital and tell the attendant that you wish to see the holder of the anvil. A moment, an hour, an eon will pass as you see the world's every failure reflected in their eyes. You will see the ending of things, daughters tearing strips of flesh from their mothers with hooks of steel and bone, fathers feasting on the eyes of their sons, and you will know that you have given them their torment. Their anguish will be your own, and the only way to escape this is to let your cry join theirs. But give no sign that you know this, or the attendant will turn away, and with him, all hope. An eon, an hour, a moment will pass, and the attendant will drop his eyes in defeat, turn, and open the door behind him. Follow him with care, for he is treacherous, and he will leave you in dark places where your screams will never be heard, your bones never found. At the end of this path, when the skulls of infants crunched beneath your feet, you will find a young man chained to a ragged iron slab. Your guide will turn and offer you, in one hand, a hammer, a blade in the other. If you take the blade, you will abandon your search, and you should beg for a quick end. It will not be given. You should take the hammer, and when you do, drive it into the young man's head with all the strength you have and more. For although he is innocent, allow no mercy, for mercy has abandoned you. Cover the skulls at your feet with the gore and the blood of this young man. When their debt has been paid, you will be delivered back to your world outside the asylum. The hammer will still be in your hand, and the blood with it will never wash off. Its thirst has been satisfied, for now. That hammer is object 53 of 538. It will only be used once more to split the world and to find the secret heart that beats within. Pray that yours will not be the hand that wields it. Yeah, sometimes in finding or attempting to find that which is secret or hidden, one becomes aware that such is the price involved, that the value of what is sought comes into question. That is, it does if the individual doing the seeking remains sane. Stay scary, wildlings. Never lose the joy of swinging that hammer. And make the most of your nights. <laughs>